Hi, in this second part I continue with this clock vector graphic. I'll create a rectangle now for the face of the clock. I'm going to adjust this. I will shift click here and go to the align and distribute to center this and I want to adjust it a little bit more again I'm centering this and uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'll need to duplicate this one and scale it down I'm going to select this and grab this plus and move it in the middle of this circle here. Let's change the color of the circle to something else so we can see that plus and I need to go back again. Grab the select and transform tool, click on it and adjust this plus in the middle of the circle. Now I'll go to edit clone, create tiled clones here, 60 for columns, shift minus 100, scale, rotation, 6%, and I'll click create. And you see what this did. Now I'm going to select this rectangle and adjust it one more time make it bigger I'll change here the columns to 12, the shift stays minus 100, rotation 30 degrees, click create and I forgot to move the plus sign in the middle, so let's do that now, and then click create, and uh, I'm going to close this, I don't like the size of this very much so I'm paused here and I redid it and you see this looks much better I did it in the same way I just scaled the rectangles down I'm gonna use the text tool to create some numbers here for the face of the clock Control D to duplicate this, move it over here, click and write another number, again Control D to duplicate it, move it over here, write 9, grab the Select and Transform tool with F1, Control D to duplicate it, move it here and right six and again I'll position this now next thing I'll do is shift select all these and group them and I'm going to drag and select the inside of the clock and move it here because I want to scale up this part a little bit and then I'll shift select these and align them now I'll select this 
duplicate it, scale it down, change the color to this one, I'm holding down the shift and the control key when I'm scaling, I change the color to white on this one and I will need to change it to radio gradient and I will also move it a little bit to the left and the bottom okay so it's time to create hands for the clock so grab the bezier tool click hold down the control key to get a straight line click click somewhere around here and close this apply a fill of black color now I'm going to duplicate this control D and I'm going to flip it select it shift selected and then align and distribute I'll click on this option here and I'm also going to let's undo this change the color of this one to this gray color and I notice here that I have a stroke so I'm going to remove that on both these and I'll need to align them again let's undo this select the first one shift select the second one and align them also we need to align them using this option okay now let's select these and group them and move them over here scale them down I'm also going to send this one two steps down and position it over here now let's see how this looks with this color now I'm gonna change it back to this one I'm going to group this again and also again I'll move this plus sign to this center of this circle here so we can rotate this hand just like it rotates in a clock you can see this now okay so here I want to adjust this a little bit it's not in the middle so I need to select it and I'll zoom in really close to make sure I select both of these and group them and I'm going to position this somewhere in the middle here this looks better adjusting the size a little bit now don't worry about this white area in the middle of the hand when we scale up the graphic and uh, export it you'll see there is nothing like that in the final result you can by the way see the final result on the Facebook page link is in the description and here I paused and I created the other hands in the same way one of them is red this is a difference now I duplicated this circle and uh, here I'm going to make it this white gray color reduce the opacity and I'll object to path then I'll select these nodes and create more and I'll drag and select these and I'll hit the delete key 
Then I'm going to select this one, hold down the shift key, select this one and make them corner. And I'm also going to hit this plus one more time to create a node in the middle and make this node another type which allows me to control both the handles. I'm going to adjust this a little bit and by the way I don't like I don't like how it went a little bit so let's reduce the opacity again to 40 I'm resizing this a little bit. And like I said, I don't like the way this is curved. So I'm going to pause here and redo this. or just make it a little bit different. You see here now, it's we have a better curve here. Now I'm going to duplicate this and create one for the bottom. I'm going to flip it, then I will select it and move the plus to the middle again. And now I'll rotate it again. I'll start deleting some of the nodes. Holding down the shift key, I select both these nodes, make them corner, select this one, <clears throat> delete that too. I need to again make these corner and select again both these and uh, hit the plus sign and do this I need to change the node type to this one and start adjusting this so there you go I finish adjusting this effect here and you see this vector graphic like I said you can check out the final result on the Facebook page. I hope this tutorial was useful. So that's it. Subscribe. Bye for now.